Hey guys, what's up? Sherry here from the Fox Gaming Crew. How's it going? Alright, so I'm going to give these new cards a try. It's John Holland, um, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. So, you know, I started to read the book, the description, but then I totally went ADHD. So I didn't actually finish reading it. Um, so I'm going to go with, you know, what I know about the cards um, in terms of, you know, the Rider Waite deck. So we'll see how that works out, okay? And also the picture. Let's see if I can get some different messages from these cards. All right. So get these out of the way. And I'm going to be using my cards for a clarifier. So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for um, July the 21st until the 28th. 2017. All right. So beginning with, I think I'm going to do a split divine partnership. So the present moment, how does the masculine view the relationship with the feminine? Wow. The Ace of Pentacles, uh, strengthening bonds. Um, the Ace of Pentacles showed up in the past position, near future for the, the masculine. Um, so he sees a new beginning. He sees, you know, this new start in the 3D with the feminine. Um, and what I'm really seeing in the picture is the feminine energy here. Uh, you know, there's this growth, this green heart energy surrounding her in, you know, in light as well. Um, so it kind of goes along with the twin flame reading in that her present moment she was the sun you know so yeah I see a lot of growth I see the, the divine masculine wanting a new beginning with the feminine so three clarifiers moon card seven of pentacles and the eight of wands in the future so past position the moon so this is facing your fears um you know, your shadow side, um, all those voices in your head, um, you know, anything that's projected from your fear is basically a lie, an illusion. And so, you know, it's recognizing that and moving through it. So it's a dark night of the soul. The Seven Pentacles is in the present moment. So this is gestation, waiting, pregnant pause. And it also represents a reevaluation while you're waiting for something to happen, while you're waiting for the return. Um, you know, make use of that time and consider all your options. So that was a similar theme that was being seen on the masculine side for the twin flame. It's, you know, he's at a point where he needs to make decisions and is really carefully weighing them. Future position, eight of swords. Now this card showed up in the future position for the past on the divine masculine side. So there's still a mental prison that he needs to release himself from. Um, so what I'm feeling from this is that release. You know, we got that new beginning. Remember, this is the main card. Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning, 3D. That's how he views the relationship. So um, right now he's in a reevaluation phase and he will be releasing himself from a mental prison. So this is an oppressive energy from the outside holding him back. Um, and, you know realizing that those thoughts in your mind are just thoughts and not reality. Okay, so what is he resisting? Wow, heart chakra. Why are you resisting the heart chakra? So this is unconditional love. So feel that love within you and express it. Don't be afraid to show your emotions or your love for someone, for your, your feminine. Um, so that kind of goes along with you know, the Eight of Swords, feeling locked out, you know, resisting, allowing love into your life. Knight of Cups, wow, Divine Masculine, and Seven of Cups. Whoa. So the Knight of Cups is a movement forward. It's coming in the past position. So there was a gesture of love. Um, you know, this is romantic gestures. Uh, it is wearing your heart on your sleeve. It's desiring to start a relationship and move forward with it. So, you know, it could even mean an offer of marriage or something like that, but it's a movement forward. It's longing, desiring for a relationship. 
um, present moment is the Divine Masculine. So this was a crowning card uh, in the Twin Flame reading. So it, because it's in his resisting position, he's resisting, you know, living his true authentic life right now. He's holding back for some reason. Um, you know, this card also represents authority, making decisions, being the leader. The future position is the Seven of Cups, so this is confusion, having a lot of options and not knowing which one to choose. But the message to the card is to follow your heart. Don't allow fear and thoughts to hold you back. Okay, so a message from your higher self. Three of Pentacles, reach out. Um, so the Three of Pentacles showed up in the Feminine's recent past position. So for me, it usually represents a firm foundation, a uh, grounded energy. So there's a start, feeling successful. And what I'm really noticing in the card is, you know, this ladder, this movement up the, the ladder. Um, I'm also seeing illumination as well. So your higher self is telling you to continue to work on manifesting what you desire into 3D. Um, grow that Ace of Pentacles into the Three of Pentacles or you know it could just be your higher self telling you not to worry that there is a foundation laid um, you know although there is work ahead of you it's um, you are successful Nine of Swords Strength card and the Six of Pentacles Nine of Swords, past position, anxiety, stress, fear, worry, guilt, staying up at night, inability to sleep. So having stabbing thoughts. Present moment, strength card. You're finding, you're trying to find the strength, the courage, and the power in order to um, go further with the Three of Pentacles. Turn it into the Six of Pentacles, which I'll get to in a moment. So, you know, this is taming the beast within. This is lo using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with the situation. So something caused you a great deal of stress, worry, and fear. And you're moving within. You're turning within and listening to your heart and, um, you know, taming those thoughts. But also, instead of being the emperor who exerts his will onto the world, you know, um, this is taming that energy, and it's just being love, and, uh, you know, feeling love and being kind. Uh, the future position is the six, six of Pentacles, so this is sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. It's my cohabitation card. So, um, yeah, the, your higher self is telling you to grow that Pentacle, to go for it. You know, um, the final outcome for the Twin Flame reading was taking a leap of faith and trusting so whatever the divine masculine has been thinking about it, it's been consuming his thoughts and he's coming out of that the nine of swords is nearing the completion of feeling that worry that fear and um, yeah so he's trying to find the strength to do something so his past position blossom 20 so this is I believe it's a judgment card Yes, I think. Let me just look. So since I have it open, I might as well read it to you. So past position, blossom. Um, matters of the heart are much like the flowers. In the bud stage, the re relationship is a state of potential. It, requir it requires loving care and attention to help it grow, develop, and bloom. The people involved in the relationship must be willing to trust and open themselves to each other. With a proper amount of nurturing, the relationship will blossom and bring beauty to the lives of those involved. It is time for you to nurture the potential of your relationship. New life and love are waiting for you. So, yeah, this is potential. You know, it, it's for um, the right awake description. It, it talks about, you know, the grand awakening, awareness. Um, you know, realizing that you can create a different life, one that's more in line with your higher purpose, right? So um, your mo your life is just a movie that's been projected on the screen in your own mind. Um, so this is a grand awakening. And Blossom is using your power uh, to transform your reality. 
into what you desire. So let's see, clarifier, six of swords, ah, six of cups, and the magician. So six of swords in the past position, this is walking away from a negative situation, negative thoughts. So it's calming, stilling the mind, but it's finally choosing to walk away. Uh, the Six of Cups is present moment so that this is a reunion card, somebody from your past coming back, somebody f that you've known from childhood so or a previous life. So it's pure, innocent love. So you walked away from the negative situation in order to either move towards reunion with somebody that you love deeply or that you're considering that. You're seeing, you know, how you can have, there are two different paths you can choose one that's negative and one that's more in line with pure innocent love uh, future position is a magician so this is power um, you know using your focus your control in order to manifest your ideas and dreams into reality so it's a number one so I see you transforming your life completely changing it moving from negative to love and empowerment Okay, so your present moment, flow, 10. So this is a wheel of fortune. This usually means that a cycle is coming to an end um, between five to 10 years. So where's that book? What the heck, let's go for it, read it. Um, yeah, this deck is slightly different from the other John Holland in that this one's more geared towards love. Okay, the energy around you at this time are positive and are driving you forward. Let yourself flow with the energy and put them to good use. This is an opportunity, opportune time to attract your heart's desire. Do you want more love, peace, or greater understanding? Is your heart calling out for a new relationship? Does a current relationship need improvement? Focus your, on your desires and allow them to manifest by expecting them to. And that's exactly what I see here. You know, it's movement away from negative towards love and manifesting, realizing your power. So this is good luck and good fortune as well. Five of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Divine Feminine. Awesome. Five of Cups, Reason Past. So this is a feeling of, you know, mourning, loss, grieving. So I know a couple of weeks back, the Divine Masculine was going through a very difficult time, you know, Dark Night of the Soul, and you can see that with the Moon card and the Six of Swords and the Nine of Swords, all negative cards in the past. Um, so when you've attached yourself to an idea or a person and that thing leaves, that's when you feel that grieving, that mourning, that deep pain and loss. So the Masculine is coming out of that and he's healing himself present moment six of swords is success and victory you are the rock star you're being recognized uh, for you know all of the accomplishments all of the hard work that you've done uh, one is spirituality so this has to do with living your higher calling your purpose your true life um, and yeah you're the rock star people are proud of you they see you as an example and they're cheering you on and the future position is the divine feminine so the change is from a negative to a positive and you will be successful if you continue on that road all right so future five of pentacles feeling alone um so this usually feels like you're being left out in the cold like there's a disconnect feeling like you don't have any hope or help um, from someone so that doesn't make too much sense especially with all these positive cards in the future so four of pentacles three wands and the sacral chakra again so four of pentacles being closed off holding on too tightly to something or not letting somebody in um, so this energy has caused a feeling of disconnect or feeling alone um, the present position is the three of wands you know, feeling like you're on the right track. So you're coming out of that closed off state into a more open state. And um, like I said, feeling like you're on the right path uh, and you're getting a thumbs up from spirit. Keep going. You made a choice to follow your higher calling. And that is exactly what is being manifested. 
future position sacral chakra where your emotions are stored so this showed up uh, twice near future for the masculine and uh, god what was it I can't remember final outcome I can't remember for the feminine I know it showed up twice my god my memory so bad okay so this is the future 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 so this is emotional um, abundance um, desire passion so the chakra is activated you come from the state of being closed off alone separated and into this you know happiness this um, excitement accomplishment um, and it all is centered on your desire your emotions all right so message from the universe lead so this is the divine masculine boom so the universe is telling you to step into your power into your strength and make decisions and do it from a logical point of view so you know don't necessarily be controlled by your emotions but um you know use your heart to guide you but also make decisions from a logical you know point of view is what i'm seeing here almost like a detached kind of feeling here wow ace of cups page of wands and page of cups whoa so ace of cups past position the feminine got this in her present so this is an offer of love, a new beginning of love. So there was a new beginning, this initiation that took place, right? And um, so this card only comes when, you're, when you've healed yourself, when you've let go of the wound, the pain. And I see that definitely. Uh, and you're truly ready to receive love and allow true love to come into your life. The Page of Wands and the Page of Cups are both communication. So this is great news, great, exciting communication. And this is communicating your love. So the Page of Wands also represents a new beginning. Um, it's a new start, starting from zero. Very similar to the Fool card and the Ace of Wands. Uh, so this is an epiphany, um, realizing that you can have a different life that isn't um, you know that nine to five job that is more in line with your true authentic life so you know what I see here is the masculine downloading ideas and inspiration and feeling you know excited about the future so it's kind of planning for the future the page of cups future position is messages of love and this is desiring you know to communicate so I'm desiring to start that that connection again uh, so the knight of cups was in the past future is the page of cups so it's messages of love and spirit is telling you to send messages of love um, be excited about this new beginning um, and you know really open yourself up don't be afraid to express your love I, you feel locked out okay and um, yeah so message is very strong to don't be that divine masculine who's unemotional and you know um you know men can't cry that kind of thing they're not allowed to cry it's the way society has conditioned them they're not allowed to show their emotion or open up and what spirit is really saying is not to be that masculine energy but to really express yourself feel that love that unconditional love and um not be afraid to talk and express yourself okay so your external environment choose your battles the seven of wands so you could be feeling like you're surrounded by conflict right now there's a challenging energy um, so this is f expressing yourself you know not backing down knowing your core values and belief and expressing that knight of wands three of pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune again. So past position is the Knight of Wands. And now this was in your present moment for the Twin Flame. So this is that blast out of the gate. It is movement forward, right? So you feel like you've already embarked on this new beginning. You want to move forward. Um, 
and start this new life. You know, with that page of wands, turn that into, you know, um, the four of wands, basically. So this is movement forward. Decision is made to go forward, and you have moved forward. Um, and one is spirituality. And then three of pentacles is the present moment. So this is same card here, grounded, found, firm foundation. You feel that there's a start, um, and you want to grow that. And the future position, again, with the Wheel of Fortune, so it's completion of a cycle. So you're moving towards your destiny. Um, and if you continue on this road, Spirit is saying that everything will work out, you know, perfect. Uh, destiny is in your future. Destiny is walking on, or knocking on your door. So, um, again, grounded energy, f uh, whoever's in your environment, even though you feel that there is challenges ahead of you, you do feel empowered and grounded and um, you want to move towards your destiny. That's really all that I'm seeing here. Unless, you know, there's somebody that you need to stand up to. Um, somebody who's standing in your way. Some these three heads are really standing out to me. And we got the small masculine energy down here, so it's an overpowering energy. But he feels strong. Um, all he needs to do is just get back on his horse there of fire and ride off towards his destiny. All right. So what do you fear? Refusing to see the two of swords. This is making a decision. This is being at a crossroads, having two choices, and both have far-reaching consequences, and not knowing which one to choose. Uh, so, because the importance, or because the decision is so important, uh, there's a sense that you can't make that decision. You're afraid to make that decision. Three cups. Queen of no fucks given. Wow, lovers card. So, Three of Cups, past position, this is a union energy, it's an ignition, it is uh, feeling that love flowing through you, and the love is what opens you up and raises your consciousness, makes you realize you're connected to something much larger than yourself. So, the decision has to do with a connection in the past, one that made you feel love. Um, the Queen of Wands could be a fire sign, but this energy you fear, you fear um, possibly moving forward. Remember, this is in the future position, so eventually you will overcome that fear and make the decision to to move forward with your passion, with towards that the queen, the one that lights you up. Um, so this is somebody who's very charismatic, the center of attention. Um, you know, it's just empowerment, leadership and spirituality future position lover's card so this is again desire longing hunger animalistic energy but it's you know it's that feeling that desire that you feel uh when you first meet your twin flame you know it's it's unlike anything you've ever experienced before um so it, there's a longing to return um but at the same time, there's a fear of making that choice to move forward. You desire it, you want it, and it will manifest. But, you know, like I said, you have to overcome any fear that might be holding you back. Okay, I'm looking at the bottom end deck for the overall. Observe 12. Um, so this is the hangman. So the overall energy is for you to surrender, let go of control, and see things from a different perspective. So I'm actually going to read that one to you. Number 12, observe. Okay. A new understanding around matters of the heart is waiting to be revealed to you. Be still and observant. Now is not the time to take action. Instead, take a step back and wait. Reflect upon the relationship or issue. What is really happening? Release the need or desire to direct the relationship and simply go with the course of events. When you surrender to the experience, you'll learn a great deal and ultimately get what you truly need. Sometimes it is the releasing that we discover what we really need. Um, as opposed to what we think we need. Trust the process, have faith, 
in the journey and let go of the outcome. That's exactly it, right? So if you have attachments, if you have, you know, preconceived ideas about the outcome, um, then you're still living in a place of fear. You're, you're, you're not truly awake. Um, when you're truly aware and awake, you, you have no fears about the future. You have, you know, you're like a child ready to take that leap of faith no matter what. Nothing's holding you back. So that's what Spirit is asking you to do here. Um, to step back, be the observer, and allow, like I said, the tower to fall. Um, allow that transformation without any direct influence from you. Right. As soon as you try to control a situation or manipulate it or, you know, you know, allow fears to overcome you, then, you know, that means that you still need to do some purging and releasing before you can truly open your heart fully to the union. All right. So I'm going to pull one card from, oh, actually, I forgot I had this deck as well. So let's pull one card. So this is. Call it Baron Reed, another fave tarot deck. So this is, yeah, Wisdom of the Oracle. New life. Beautiful. So number 39. So it goes along with the taking a leap of faith. All right, so new life. When spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can blossom, burst, or sorry, <laughs> let me try again. Oh my God, I'm so out of practice right now. I suck. Okay, when spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt all around and in, in your very core. Blossoms burst forth from trees overnight birds return home and sing their glorious song and nature is full of promise miracles beckon all of us this is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope for for seeing your dreams come true all is well in your world and you have the energy you need to feel renewed allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm let your light shine for this is a time of good fortune. And that's exactly what I was seeing here. You know, now is a time for good fortune. Um, allow your light to shine. Embrace that new, that new life. Um, and the masculine had the death card in his present position. So, you know, it's a death of the ego. Transformation. A rebirth is really what I'm seeing this week for sure. All right. So let me know if this resonated, guys. Much love.